So Dean, you've been involved with the women's game here at Hibs now for seven years and that's a long time in football, so how would you at assess that seven years in your career? Really enjoyable. Um, I've really enjoyed the journey and I'm proud of the journey and the fact that I've came through sort of the whole pathway, um, sort of like a youth player if that makes sense, I came through as a youth coach, had a lot of successes, uh, not in terms of, like we won trophies but not that, in terms of developing players, promoting players and um, that kind of led on to maybe a, a successful period with the, the girls academy that then eventually took me into the, a, a first team environment so proud, pleased and, and just happy um, that I got the opportunity to, to work for this club. As a Hibs fan yourself, what was that like, getting to stand on the touchline here at Easter Road? Uh, yeah, listen, uh, that's one of the proud, that, regardless of the one this year with a bigger crowd, that the first one was always going to be the, the best one and um, the result just topped it off, but I think we could have lost the game that night and it still would have standing there with five and a half thousand fans behind you was, was unbelievable and um, that was one of the things I was keen to do when I took it was uh, to push boundaries and make sure the players were getting these opportunities and experiences and, and thankfully the club bought into that and I remember myself and Stuart Maguire had that conversation with the, with the club and says look can we play the game at Easter Road um, I think Ben had just come in at the time and, and Ben was open to the, 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 the opportunity and, and backed it and, and the club really kind of pulled off a well, at that time, it was a historic night and turned out to be a record attendance that night. So, yeah, that was brilliant, but it'll never, nothing will ever be the feeling of, of winning at Tynecastle as, as a Hibs team, and we went and did that as well. So it was it was two great experiences. Three years um, now coming to an end as manager, so what is the next steps for you personally? I'll be honest, this is pro I wanted this to come on the back of a Derby win. Um, unfortunately, it's came on the back of a, the wrong side of a result, but... I kind of spoke to Chris in December and just says, look, I was tired. Um, it was We had just played the cup final. We had beat Dundee United and um, we had, me and Chris had a meeting after that game. And For me, the next steps, I, and I want, for the first time in probably three years, I want to go and look after myself now and, and what's right for me. And To me, I want to go down more probably the recruitment side of the game, where I wanted to be three years ago, or the coaching side. Um, I want to take a step back from the management side of it now and, and probably go down more of that slippy road and that's where I see my passions is developing players um, and recruiting. So whether, whether what road I go down with that is hard. I, I've really enjoyed the recruiting side at Hibs. I've got a lot of good contacts and good relationships with a lot of people around the country in Scotland and England and Europe and I feel like I can use that to any club's advantage and so right now I don't know, I'm going to take a break, I need to take a break, I think the last three years personal life's been difficult with, with what's happened, with my wife's dad, um, going through Covid, transitioning the club three times, but it's time now for, for me to step back, take a break and pass that on to the, the next person.